Hey everybody, Joni Giordano here with Real Producers coming at you again with our series of video interviews with fantastic business owners in the area. And today we have Miss Tina Flowers from HWA, Home Warranty of America. And uh, Tina, say hey to the gang. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to have you here, Tina. It's good to see you. We haven't talked in a long time. It's nice to catch up. Absolutely. Nice to catch up. So Tina, tell, tell our viewers a little bit about you, your business, and what exactly Home Warranty of America does. So um, I, HWA is the only national 13-month home warranty company out there. So um, I've been with the company, excitingly, tomorrow will be eight years. So it's been a great eight-year run. Um, I absolutely love it. The thing that I really like the most is not so much because um, of the product, because we do have a good product, but it's the fact that I get to work one-on-one -on -one with agents and their customers um, to provide a great experience. And if for some reason there's a bump in the road, they still get me to be able to assist. So I like that interaction and that relationship um, that comes with it. Um, and that's really what drives me and what's kept me happy in this position. Fantastic. Well, you just answered my next question, which is what do you love most about what you do? <laughs> <laughs> it's going... It's, it's going out in the field. It's being with the agents. Um, this has been a little different time, obviously, with COVID, but I will tell you it's opened up this new avenue of video, and I can see more people in less time because there's no travel, um, but that won't negate the fact that once we can go back out and about, I'm going to be in the field because I do like to be around everybody. <laughs> I am with you. I think that's one of the reasons we get along. We get to hang out together often. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so with um, Corona and COVID and everything, all the changes, how have you had to change your business, which you ever already kind of answered? And more importantly, like what advice would you give, particularly realtors, since that is most of our viewership, um, in these times on how to better operate and how they can best utilize you? So really, the, there's a couple things that have happened. So number one, obviously, we're all at home, um, which in turn, if there's any type of a call center for a company, they probably know, like in our situation, our call centers were shut down on March 19th. And that made our business pivot. Like everybody went to work, all the customer service reps went to work, took calls, um, did authorizations, whatever. But because they could no longer go on the call center, within a 10-day period, we had laptops shipped out to people, sent people to get them remotely set up, something probably you and I and probably a lot of the agents are used to, working from home some, go, you know, being in the field. Those call center people weren't used to that. That, that wasn't their norm. Um, they knew one thing. They knew they went to work. They knew they had a desk. They had a computer. So we pivoted them got them online at home so they could work remotely and still provide the service. The big thing is, is I shift a lot of people to filing their claims online, assisting homeowners getting that set up, um, getting involved if for some reason there was a, a glitch in the system. I became a lot more hands-on, which I, actually I love. I didn't think that I was gonna like that. Like I was really nervous of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be talking to so many more people. It's helped time go by faster <laughs> because you are no, but that personal interaction, even over the phone, you can hear a sigh of relief. So it, it's so nice that I've been able to build that. But what I think the agents really need to understand is prior is setting the right expectation for our customers that in situations like this where there's an emergency, really we've had to prioritize emergencies, right? Like a dishwasher claim that comes in and we can't get a contractor to go out there because they're protecting themselves and they want to protect the customer from going in. Getting homeowners to understand that has been a big change in the business because, you know, as a homeowner myself and you, we want things taken care of when we want them taken care of. And unfortunately in this day and age and this time that we're in, it's not possible doesn't mean service doesn't get provided. It's just service on emergencies, no heat, no air, no running water, no fridge to keep their food. You know, refrigerators didn't used to be considered an emergency. But when you have shortage of food and you can't go out to eat, 
we've pivoted the business to be able to provide that customer service and not let the ball drop, but yet things like dishwashers obviously had to take, you know, they had to take the back seat. It might be two weeks before they get their dishwasher fixed because they're only going out for refrigerators and, and ranges per se. Well, let's it's face it, we all have more time to hand wash dishes. That is exactly right. And all these kids are at home, like, that's Home Ec 101, I think, isn't it? <laughs> that's right. That's right. I, I learned how to wash dishes at the age of 10, I, you know. <laughs> so it's been good. I think it's going to be, um, I think it's just really helped. I mean, it's yeah. a lot of us, are, I'm going stir crazy, but, and I'm sure everybody else is, but it's definitely helping us to know there is, can be a new norm and it can still go, you know, business can keep continuing as usual in a different way. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, I know our realtor friends are hustling out there. I see postings of closings every day and it's amazing. So I don't think real estate has slowed in the least. I mean, it's I changed know. a lot, but it hasn't slowed. <laughs> and you know, sometimes change is good, right? Yeah. So I don't think that it's a bad thing that it's, gonna, that it's changing. I think it's great. Um, I feel like now we're all more equipped, right? Because That's we right. did it one way. Now we're doing it another way. So if something else comes at us, we can easily adapt. So it is, like, is a very adaptable industry, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it, is. it is. Yeah. Well, I think that's why we have so many fun characters in the business too. <laughs> that does make the days fun, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tina, tell our viewers where they can find you if they wanted to get in touch with you, if they have any questions. So they can either call me, text me, um, at 757-675-1185. I have my own new website. It's www, it's really hard, tinafloworshwa.com. So T-I-N-A-F-L-O-W-E-R-S-H-W-A.com. They can pull brochure off there. They can send me an email directly from there. Um, they can place an order from there. So it's real simple and easy. Um, way to get me. You can even get me on Facebook. Shoot me a, a message through Messenger and I'm getting, you know, I'm obviously um, getting, doing messages as well. Fantastic. Tina, so great to spend some time with you today. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Joni. I can't wait to be back out in the field and see you. All right. Tina Flowers, HWA. Give her a call. Talk to y'all soon. We'll see you next time.